went to the center of the ring, waved and smiled at right as if to say, we're about to have some fun. Look out. Ricky's cool to jab him all night. Ricky should be able to beat him just like that. Great left. Yep. He is tattooing Tito with the jab. Fighting behind him. He's Our missing all the contact. That, and now look at the 25 fights over 10 years. Look at him. But Pop it's been good enough. Now Tito has blood on the nose from the left hand. See it come out of fake. You see it come straight off top. He goes over his guard, between his guards, over Phoenix jab, under Phoenix's jab. The right jab is totally dominating. Right left hand over the top by right. And right seems to stun Trinidad. Three rounds to nothing. Ricky right. Trinidad does it. Larry is, but oh, Tito Trinidad is doing wrong. Well, he's circling the wrong way for three rounds. You don't go to, to your right against the guy who's a southpaw. You go to your left. It's unnatural for Tito. Sad. The trickle of blood has begun again for Trinidad. Ironically, Oscar De La Hoya moved the wrong way all night long. You're so anxious for Tito to do something big. Tito missed the left hook, right landed the right. And now Winky goes back to popping and popping and popping Tito. Should have been told to put his left hand on top of Winky's right hand. Therefore, that would nullify that jab. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm wondering about and I've asked about before. Why he doesn't... He can't get into the fight. Winky has not let him even get into the fight. Right lands easily. For Trinidad, it's all scratch oh, and oh. sniff. Where is that? Trinidad does try to get closer. Oh, no. It's clear. And Wright uses that as an opportunity to pop the jab. Another perfectly blocked body shot by Wright after he landed a right hook and uppercut. And he sticks the jab in front of that face. One, two, three, four. Pop the jab. Yeah. You would have thought that they would have come up with some alternative. He see oh, Winky with that jab, jab, left hand right down the middle. And this is happening because Tito is right in front of him. It's a clinic. Remains a clinic. Definitely will. And it's such a clinic that you almost forget that the guy in front of Wright is the most dangerous one-punch puncher in the sport. Of course, after everything he's taken in the first six rounds, is he still the most dangerous one-punch puncher in the sport? No, he's not. Fight in this fashion. Doesn't have to throw real hard punches. Just has to be have his defense ready and throw short, sharp punches. And Tito telegraphed all his punches. Wiki Wright blocked or partially blocked all but one of those Tito Trinidad shots. And there's, and there's nothing blocking Wright. When Wright throws power punches, he stuffs them into Felix's mouth. Boom! He hurt Tito with that left hand. Right in front of Wright, trying to up and puff and blow Wright's house down. And it's not going to happen. Best two punches to uh, Winky Land are one, two, right flush in the face of Trinidad. That comes from Trinidad standing right in front of him. That pushed him back. He's been a superstar for a yeah, long well, time. Yeah, I mean, for fans. Yeah, it, it will, but the one thing that you have to still understand is you have to put Tito down to get you that. It's sort of like lashing line drives into foul territory. Look at Winky Styles. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be you right mm -hmm. Winky has a hat, but one or two noteworthy fights, which was the Vargas fight. Like I said, he fought Bunker a thousand times. Right cross, or excuse me, right hook. That to him. Uppercut, straight left hand. The clinic continues. Right jab, over the top of Tito's left hand. Right jab, right over the top of the left hand. Right jab, right over the top of this left. Right jab. There hasn't been anything close to a knockdown so far. A final flurry from Trinidad. The Trinidad fans are saying, what happened? Buckled the knees of Trinidad. Most of his career without any opportunities to fight big name fighters. Now Ricky Wright makes his statement. Who's next? Who wants to take on the new king of the 160 pound weight class and maybe the most skilled defender in the sport?